The story, uh, the story for this fifth serial is, on a remote island of glass surrounded by a sea of acid, there is a machine that can remove evil from the minds of an entire population, the conscience of Marinus. Fearful of its immense power falling into the wrong hands, its sole guardian has scattered the machine's operating keys across the planet. The TARDIS crew arrives to find the island is under attack by the evil Vord. Marinus's last line of defense, and its only hope, is the conscience machine. The doctor and his companions must undertake a deadly quest to recover the keys of Marinus. This serial had a mixture of different genres, science fiction, mystery, adventure, and court espionage. There were a lot of surprising things in this serial, like the doctor being absent from a couple of episodes, and the special effects were pretty pretty well done. One episode had living plants and these traps that the companions would get into, and they kept the suspense going and looked good. Uh, throughout the serial, the Doctor and his companions go to different islands on the planet and run into trouble on all of them. And they also meet some people that either become friends or enemies. On the first island, they come to a paradise. They fall under its spell and want to stay, but soon find out it is all a projection put in their minds by these alien brains in domes, and they have these eyes connected to like alien, uh, to like uh, ant 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 antennas or whatever on their heads. It looked pretty creepy. Um, Barbara destroys them, and they are released from their spell. It was interesting actually to see the doctor being tempted to stay on the island from seeing all of this uh, before the brains were destroyed. After that island, everyone splits up to find the keys on diff uh, to find the keys on the different islands to get to the keys faster. The next I island, Barbara and Ian come to an island with traps and living plants. Then on another island, Ian is framed for murder and is on trial. The doctor is his defense lawyer, while the rest look for evidence proving his innocence. It was cool to have this little crime drama suspense in in a science fiction show, and it was fun. At the end of the serial, you are left with a happy, hopeful ending and ready for another adventure. There is one thing I want to point out here. For a while now, I've been noticing that the first Doctor seems to remind me of Yoda. It mainly had just has to do with his long hair and the wrinkle on, wrinkles on his face, but he, at times he chuckles with his mouth closed and he sounds like Yoda. And then this serial, he starts using a cane that looks like Yoda's a little. It's no problem or big deal that he has similarities to Yoda. It just it seems funny to me at, at, at times. I'm actually, because I'm actually surprised there's no Yoda Who memes out there. Never mind. I give this serial four, four and a half stars out of five. I, I really, actually really enjoyed this one. In my next review, I will review one of the most popular First Doctor serials and one of my personal favorites. It's another historical serial, The Aztecs. <laughs>